Hi, AV Liberty here. Um, today I'm going to talk about why intelligent design is not science. I have been arguing back and forth with Christians and creationists about the so-called theory of intelligent design. For those of you who don't know, intelligent design is a theory that the complexity of life and the universe can only be explained by a designer. Uh, this designer is an entity who is supposed to uh, have the ability to manipulate reality in such a way as to create you know the complex living organisms that we see around us you know at once. The ID proponents tout this theory as a refutation or alternative to Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection. I'm not entirely sure this is true. I think that most of the uh, ID proponents I have debated uh, see it as a refutation of um, theories about the origin of the universe as well as uh, theories of the origin of life. Uh, creationists don't seem to understand that the Big Bang and the theory of evolution by natural selection are uh, two unrelated theories from two unrelated fields of science. They also don't seem to understand that the theory of evolution does not uh, posit a solution to the origin of life question. That is the field of abiogenesis and the theories that are being put forward there are much younger and much less supported than those for the uh, evolution of life after it began. I think this demonstrates the uh, average creationist's ignorance of the science they are trying to refute. Um, on the other hand, the scientists that are uh, advocating ID as a scientific theory cannot be said to be ignorant of the evidence for evolution by natural selection. These men are committing the cardinal sin of science. They are establishing the principle that they wish to prove and then working to prove it. That's not the way science works. In science, you come up with an idea, a concept, or a, a prediction that you think should be true, given current knowledge and the theory that you're working with, and then you test it using experiment or observation. If the result is positive, then great. You've confirmed your hunch or your guess. But if it's not, then you go back and you change the hypothesis or even change the theory to, uh, to adjust to the new information. Uh, many times, the uh, negative results leads to breakthroughs. When the Institute for Creation Research was trying to uh, circumvent the scientific process to prove that the Bible was literally true, it was pretty obvious what they were doing. The problem with ID is that they're, tr they're a little bit more subtle. What they do is they put forward this concept of irreducible complexity. And they've done significant work in describing what irreducible complexity means using the science or the mathematics of chaos theory. The problem is they haven't defined how we can tell an irreducibly complex system from one that is not. They have also not discovered an actually irreducibly complex biological system. They point to things like the mammalian eye or the bacterial flagellum, but these have been debunked uh, as examples of irreducible complexity by other scientists. However, all this talk about disproving irreducible complexity really misses the point. Intelligent design is not science on two counts. Number one, even if you could find an irreducibly complex system, it really only amounts to an argument from personal incredulity. Even if you got buy-in, it wouldn't be personal anymore, it would be group incredulity. But it's really just uh, an argument from ignorance. We don't know how it got this way, so God did it. But number two, let's suppose that the real answer, the true answer is that God did it. That, that there really is this God and really did design something. He created the bacterial flagellum or whatever. The answer, God did it, just adds more questions, like how and why. My guess is that the ID proponents really just want to stop at God did it and leave the 
and uh, not ask any further questions. On the other hand, if scientists, a real scientist, were to encounter an apparently irreducibly complex system, his first reaction would and should be to look for errors in the finding. The next reaction would be, the next step would be to develop principles and techniques to study the system. And as we gain understanding, my bet is that the irreducible complexity nature of our understanding would dissipate. Because as we get more information about the system, we'll be able to see how it could be reduced and still be useful. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a, a great day. Peace. Atheist Liberty out.